the concentration C of a drug in a patient's bloodstream T hours after injection is given by C equals 25T divided by the quantity 75 plus T squared. Part A, what is the concentration of the drug after 2.5 hours round to three decimal places? They're telling us the time T in hours is 2.5 to find the concentration. We need to determine the value of C by substituting 2.5 for T or determining the function value C of 2.5. This is equal to 25 times 2.5 divided by the quantity 75 plus the square of 2.5. And now let's go to the calculator and round this to three decimal places. And we do need parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we have open parenthesis 25 times 2.5 close parenthesis divided by open parenthesis 75 plus 2.5 squared close parenthesis and enter. There is a two in the fourth decimal place so we round down to 0 0.769. So the concentration is approximately 0.769%. For part B, how long does the drug stay in someone's bloodstream? Assume the drug is out of the patient's system once the concentration has decreased to 0.6%. Round to two decimal places. So they're telling us when the concentration or C is equal to 0.6, the drug is out of the patient's system, and therefore we substitute 0.6 for C and solve for T, which gives us the equation 0.6 equals 25T divided by the quantity 75 plus T squared. Let's solve this on the next slide. Again, we substituted 0.6 for C, and now we need to solve this rational equation. We could cross multiply, but instead, Let's multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of 75 plus t squared, which is here and here. Notice on the right side, 75 plus t squared divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with 25t on the right. On the left, we distribute, getting 45 plus 0.6t squared. Notice how we have a quadratic equation, so we set the equation equal to zero by subtracting 25 on both sides and bringing the terms in descending order which gives us 0.6t squared minus 25t plus 45 equals zero. This is not factorable, and therefore we'll have to use the quadratic formula where instead of x here we have t, where a is equal to 0.6, b is negative 25, and c is 45. After performing substitution into the quadratic formula, we have this line here. Simplifying, the opposite of negative 25 is positive 25, the square of negative 25 is 625. Four times 0.6 times 45 is 108. And two times 0.6 is 1.2. 625 minus 108 is 517. So we have two times. One time is the quantity 25 minus the square root of 517 divided by 1.2. And the other time is 25 plus the square root of 517 divided by 1.2. So there are two times where the concentration is 0.6%, but this first time is shortly after the injection, and the second time is the time we want when after the shot, the concentration drops back down to 0.6%. If we take a look at this graphically, the function C is graphed in blue, and the constant C equals 0.6 is graphed here in red. And again, notice how the concentration is 0.6% twice at the start, right after the injection, and at the end, just under 40 hours. So for part B, our answer is going to be approximately 39.78 hours. And then finally part C, we're asked to determine the end behavior of the function as T approaches infinity. Looking at the concentration function, we can determine the end behavior by analyzing the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice how the degree of the numerator is degree one, and the degree of the denominator is degree two. Because the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator, as t approaches infinity, the denominator increases faster than the numerator, and the concentrations get smaller and smaller and approach zero. And therefore, the end behavior is as t approaches infinity, 
C approaches zero. And if we go back to the graph, the graph does verify that as T approaches infinity, or as we move to the right along the graph, the concentration does approach a concentration of zero percent. I hope you found this helpful.